Welcome to the WZDX Weather School, where my goal is to teach you a little something about the weather. Today, I thought we'd start with something basic that'll lead into something a little more complex. We're going to start with how clouds develop, and then we're going to finish with how thunderstorms develop. So at its most basic level during the day, the sun heats the earth. You notice that when our temperature rises from 60 to 70 to 80 and during the summer to 90 degrees. Now we're going to break that air up into parcels. Those warm parcels rise through the day. They rise up in altitude and they cool as they do that. Now eventually these parcels of air are equal in temperature with the surrounding environment. That happens when they reach the lifted condensation level. When they reach the lifted condensation level, the water vapor inside those parcels of air condenses out. It attaches itself to tiny, tiny particles in our atmosphere and clouds develop. And this continues through the course of the afternoon. Now we can translate this into how thunderstorms develop. So we have our rising air, our rising air hits the lifted condensation level, and then our cumulus clouds are able to develop. Now in a more unstable environment, those cumulus clouds are able to continue to build and build and build, and eventually we hit cumulonimbus clouds. Those are those tall, towering thunderstorm clouds that obviously produce thunderstorms. So on one end of our thunderstorm, we have our updraft. That's that continual rising air. That helps fuel our thunderstorm. But then on the back end, we have our downdraft. Now we get our downdraft from some sort of boundary. Normally that's some cold air that rushes in the back and really all that is is sinking air. Our downdraft, all of the activity, all of the thunderstorm activity happens where this downdraft is. That's where our wind is, that's where our hail is, and of course that's where our very heavy rain is here in the downdraft. The updraft fuels the storm, the downdraft is where the storm is actually happening. Now, eventually, the downdraft overtakes the updraft, and that's when we finally see our thunderstorm weaken.